now your kid's playing for the Lakers. He what, is. What is that is. like for you to sit there and, and watch him uh, on the active roster? Rich, there? I'm going to be honest. It's frustrating sometimes because you be wanting your son to do what you want him to do because of the way you play. And it's not fair to him. You know, because he can't match me. He might be named after me, and it's the same name, but I don't put my son accountable for what I think. And because I played on a high, high level, and I want him to play on that same level. But he has to be Gary the second, not Gary Payton. You know, that's me. I've done everything. I, so I, it's only going to be one me. So it's got to be him. But you know what makes me happy is that he have got to this level, and he's got there. That's the accomplishment of being there. So he's there. And all I tell him now is I stay off of him. I just say, you have to do this, you have to do that to make it in this NBA. And he's done a good job. Uh, he's a great young player. He's a good little talent. And I, and I think that he's going to make it in this NBA. And, and I'm very happy for him. Do you have any demands of the Lakers to take any more of your children? Like N some other None. Day? None. Like, I, don't, like I, 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 I don't care. I, I got one in there. I got a young one that's going to be okay, okay, but nothing. Okay. So I guess that's my that was my left-handed way to try and get him to talk about LeVar Ball. Have you had any conversations with LeVar? Uh, yeah, I did. You know, uh, we were in a tunnel, and we just talked about it. You know, people uh, – I, Rich, I played against LeVar in college. He was at Washington State, and I was at Oregon State. Did he get those two points against you? No, he didn't. He was on he was on the bench here, but I didn't really play against him that way. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I didn't play against him. So, okay. But you know what, Rich? I, I don't have any problem with him doing what he do. He marketing it himself. Mm -hmm. That's the way he wants to do it. Um, I probably, you know, wouldn't do it that way. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people sure. wouldn't do it the way that he wants to do it. And that's the way he do it. But I will give him this. He's been successful with it because we're talking about him. You see what we're doing now. We're talking about him and he's, he's made a market and that's what it's all about. It's about being, having a market and you know, he, he want to market his kids and that's what he's doing, you know? So, but the kids got to understand they got to play. You know, they got to play the game. How good is Lonzo? Really good. He really good. People don't understand. Right now, Rich, he doesn't know how to score. And he's letting people, you know, he's. I think he's reading to me what I can't shoot. I can't do this. If he goes and work on his game this summer and become a scorer and not a shooter, because he's not a shooter. He's not a shooter. He can be a scorer. And once he gets that in his game, because he's almost like a Westbrook to me. He can rebound a basketball. He has a great vision, a, a great, great court vision. He can do that. Plays great defense to me. He just needs to score. He just needs to know how to score. And I think in two to three years, everybody's gonna change their mind about this kid because he can, he can do it. Well, I mean, I, I, I think the the way that people again view him is through his dad's conversations right, about him. Right, right, right. And, and uh, you know, this year everybody thought he would have a target on his back. I don't think that that materialized at all. I think a lot of people actually in this league respect his game a lot. The only question is, is how will his dad's conversation, since he's gone to Lithuania, he's removed himself from what whatever has been going on back and forth with the, uh, with the Lakers mm -hmm. before that. Mm -hmm. He did have one comment about Luke from Lithuania that created a bit of a stink bomb here in Los Angeles because of the way the Lakers did not, in a way, respond directly to it. That's the question, is how his actions affect that locker room because of what he's saying about his son's treatment or other kids that need to be taken by the Lakers, Gary. Well, I think the Lakers have done a great job of stop acknowledging him. Let it go. This is this is Magic Johnson's team. Let him run it, and and that's what Magic's have done. He's let he's ran it. He said, I, "I don't care what you say. You you got your you you have the right to have your opinion. You have your right to have your opinion. But I'm running this Laker team, and that's just the way it is. It is what it is. I mean, like I said, if Lonzo comes over and start playing and doing the things he's supposed to." You don't have anything to say because he's going to be on the floor making making it happen, you know. And, and but once it doesn't happen, then it becomes a problem. And he's going to say what he got to say, you know. But this team has to get better, and I think Magic has to start that. Magic has to do that. Don't pay attention to what he's saying. Coach your team, uh, manage your team, and do what you got to do. This team went. They won 34 games this year. They don't seven up over what they did last year. That's an improvement. They're going to have a good, a good, I think, summer. They got a lot of money to get a lot of players. Mm -hmm. Just let's just make our basketball team better, and then we come back the next year because you've done what you wanted to do. Magic have made this team better. 
If you get seven games over what you did last year, you've done what you're supposed to do. So don't worry about what everybody else say. Run your basketball team. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.